Just like other mediums like books, graphic novels and movies, video game opening levels are what can make or break your experience and impressions when you first play through your first level of a game. We see opening levels portrayed in different ways, some start off straightforward, some often tear jerkers and others throwing you into the deep end with high action and or into a very cinematic startup. So I've taken it upon myself to create a list of my top 10 most favourite opening levels from video games. This list was mainly decided on my personal experiences playing these games, with each game ranked depending on level of immersion, music, gameplay, level design and nostalgia factor of course since, well this is my list so there is obviously going to be some bias. So without further ado, let's just start. Of course this game would be on my list, why wouldn't it be on my list? If you're a Star Wars fan, this game should definitely be on your list as well. The Death Star attack during the Battle of Yavin is probably the most iconic battle in the franchise and you're thrown into it straight away from you playing as Luke Skywalker in your x wing along with Wedge and Biggs on both of your sides. Immersion levels are on point especially in cockpit view, flying around taking out TIE fighters and sentry guns are a blast and no pun intended. The Trentron itself is a phenomenal sequence from dodging pillars and avoiding Darth Vader's TIE advanced as well as voice cons with dialogue from Han Solo, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan with all reprise roles doing a great job. Hell, the actor who played Wedge until he's even got a new exclusive dialogue just for this game. And of course, right at the end, just as you're going to take the shot, you hear those legendary words from Obi-Wan Kenobi, and soon after you have taken out a major stronghold of the Galactic Empire, and now is seen as a hero across the galaxy. What if there was a world where we had experienced nuclear fallout? Well, if you want to see something like that, play Fallout 4. Since the Fallout series first kicked off, we've never really had the experience of what life was like before the bombs dropped. Sure, we had trailers and cinematics to show us, but we never had any hands-on interaction. Fallout 4 finally shows us that experience, but keeps it short and sweet. You play as your own character, male or female of course, and you just had a son recently. However, when you enter the living room, you are informed of a nuclear detonation. You make your way to the designated vault and witness at first sight a nuclear bomb exploding as you slowly descend into the darkness. Following up on the mystery of Vault 11, knowing that your child has been kidnapped and once you've leave that vault after decades of being frozen, when you first take a look at what has become to the world, you get a sense of sadness yet discovering adventure which is the reason why it's on this list. Sonic has had a lot of iconic levels throughout his franchise, but I had to go with City Escape from Sonic Adventure 2. After the much loved predecessor being Adventure 1, we are thrown straight into the action as Sonic falls from a gunflight vehicle and soon after you're surfing down roads, cars and railways. And a colossal military vehicle pops out of nowhere and chases you as you run down the hills. The fast pace is clearly conveyed to the player with the cherry on top being the opening soundtrack. City Escape is one of my favourite game themes ever. It totally enhances your playthrough as the lyrics represent the character of Sonic and the particular level. Sometimes I replay the level just to listen to the music. And for God's sake, Sega and Sonic team, please just give us Sonic Adventure 3. It's just been delay off delay, I swear to God. It's been 10 years, more than 10 years actually. And we haven't had something close, well criticised to the adventure games uh, besides Mania, but that's not even a Sonic team game. So please, can we give us Sonic Adventure 3, please? Because Force is meh. Unleash, meh. Black Knight, I have a soft spot for it, but meh. Sonic and the Secret Rings, hell no. Sonic 06, yeah. I think Adventure 3 is a good place to start. Or oh. Super Mario Galaxy. It's crazy to think that this game is over a decade old now. First giving the player a brief storybook style explanation on the origin of Power Stars, Mario Galaxy starts off at the Mushroom Kingdom where the Knights of the Star Festival is currently taking place and only occurs every 100 years. You playing as Mario of course are invited by the princess to attend the festival. However, Bowser and his army attack and once again kidnap the princess leaving Mario for dead. The opening level has you meeting Illuma for the first time and to be honest it's not the most action packed or story driven opening level, it's just that the live orchestral soundtrack gets me every single time, it's so bloody good. Plus introducing Mario to the anti-gravity mechanics for the Nintendo Wii and gameplay shows you that you are in for one hell of a space adventure. To be honest, any Metal Gear game could have been on this list, but I had to go for the Phantom Pain. This has to be the most intense edge your seat experience in gaming history. Hideo Kojima further emphasizes that games are in one way interactive movies. The game opens up with Big Boss finally waking up 9 years after the events of Ground Zeroes, 
you are crippled, armless, and have a large piece of shrapnel in your head. Knowing that Big Boss is alive, everyone wants his head on a pike. This leads to a huge hostile escape sequence where militias all from different factions are spraying upon civilians and we even get appearances from the Man on Fire and Young Psycho Mantis. The transition from the third person view to first person is done great and further immersing the player in this experience. This video doesn't do justice on how great this opening level is. The Key Crusader hits the halfway point on this list with Batman Arkham City. The game opens up with a cutscene on Bruce Wayne protesting against the opening of New Gotham Super Prison known as Arkham City, which is run by the mysterious Hugo Strange, who knows Batman's biggest secret being Bruce Wayne. He gets rushed and knocked out with some time later wakes up, cuffed up and now a prisoner among the many that he once put there. Rock City perfectly portrayed the grittiness and gothic atmosphere of the game, aesthetically of the prison design as you first enter and in no time it shows you how grand this game is in size compared to the previous Arkham Asylum. And even before all of this in the prologue, you finally get to play as Catwoman herself in the glorious Rock City combat. And of course, it's a treat to hear Kevin Conroy's voice once again. Halo is one of my favorite shooter experiences of all time. It takes first person shooter combat and evolves it. I'll see myself out. The opening level of Halo has a Covenant ship attacking the UNSC Infinity, with you as Master Chief awakening after your long slumber. Halo paved the way of something new in which modern games have taken inspiration to nowadays, and you can clearly see this. Halo Combat Evolved starts off similar to your old school first person shooters like Doom, Quake or Wolfenstein, with a ton of hallways, small rooms and narrow corridors. Now this is just mainly a warm up for the player and to give the player a base of understanding and familiarity, but after that you're thrown into one shot territory as you are stranded alone on one of the many Halo rings. With a beautiful visual for its time, the game world is a lot more open, allowing the player to freely roam around and find new ways of finding the objective. This was something truly revolutionary for its time. Now unlike other games on this list, Final Fantasy VII doesn't have the strongest nostalgia factor for me. I've only got this game recently, but my god, I can see why people adore this game. The opening level being the bombing mission hooks you instantly, switching from cinematic to gameplay constantly. The camera is tracking through the stars in space and pans towards the land of Midgar, with the transition towards these group of rebel fighters known as Avalanche, with the inclusion of favourites like Barrett and Cloud Strife. First hopping off a train and proceeding to blow up one of the Shinra reactors, you're technically committing a terrorist attack. Not gonna lie, the character structures are outdated due to the low polygon count, but the pre-rendered and illustrated backgrounds still hold up very well and seem to create an original style for the game. And the music, my god the music, is the type of music that you don't tend to hear in many modern video games anymore. Every theme from the bombing mission is memorable from the title screen to the attack itself and even when inside the Shinra reactor. I really regret not playing this game sooner. Zelda Breath of the Wild is already a modern masterpiece in my opinion, and the way it opens up is so simple but so bloody effective. You wake up as a link by this mysterious female voice located in some sort of shrine or cave. Your Sheikah Slate directs you on your exit and once you leave that cave after a century of solitude, you're finally reintroduced to the vast open world of Hyrule Kingdom. It just gives you a sense of serenity just witnessing everything along with the ambience and the light piano notes further emphasising the natural atmosphere of this game. It's a must for anyone who owns a Nintendo Switch and anyone who's a Zelda fan, trust me buy a Nintendo Switch just for this game. Just before we hit the number one spot, I would like to show you lot my honourable mentions for this list. Let's go. And here we are, my number one video game opening level goes to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. This was the opening level that made me say, holy crap, this is awesome. Chapter 1 title, Between a Rock and a Hard Place, Uncharted 2 has Nathan Drake waking up wounded, hanging from a train which is literally hanging off a cliff. 
Then you proceed to exit the interior of the train and hang on for dear life. This opening level gives you a sense of tension and danger as if you aren't careful enough, it will lead to your demise. As well as a sense of mystery as you're wondering how the hell did Nathan Drake get himself into this situation. But also some comedy and lightheartedness is sprinkled in some places to show the great and charismatic thief of the character himself. And that's the reason why this is my number one video game opening. And there you have it, those are my top 10 favourite opening levels from video games. I hope you lot enjoyed this re uh, review, Pff, top 10 list, uh, it's been a while since I've done a top 10 list, so I was like, hey, might as well give it a go. Sorry for the long delay, I was going to plan to do this during uh, Christmas break, but uh, I kind of pushed it back, but hey, it's finally done. So with that said, thank you for watching, please like, share, subscribe, see you guys next time, stay humble and peace.